Hey, what's up? It's Seagull here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to control the music that's playing on your Mac straight from your menu bar with a little application called Significator for iTunes. So if you've got music playing in your iTunes, you can go ahead and change the song, the volume, pause it, uh, look for an artist, look for another song and go ahead and just pretty much control uh, the music that's playing on your Mac uh, straight from your menu bar. So I think it's a pretty cool application for you guys that haven't heard of it yet. As some of you might already have heard of it, but it's called once again Significator for iTunes. I'll be leaving uh, the link to this web page right here um, where you can go ahead and download it. It's totally free at the moment, so I highly recommend you go check it out. I'll be leaving this link uh, in the description of this video so you can go ahead and uh, download it straight away from the Mac App Store. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you can go ahead and launch it up and it will appear as a little music note in your menu bar here. And if you haven't launched up iTunes yet, uh, it will tell you to do that first. But here you have it, pretty much all the music controls uh, you need. Obviously, we have the volume, um, play, pause, next, you know, pretty basic music controls. You can even uh, look for songs or artists. So if you go on artists, you can see all the artists you have uh, in your iTunes library, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to play any music simply because uh, then I get problems with the copyright and stuff like that so I don't want to get uh, into too much trouble but it's pretty straightforward as you can see it does have a few preferences um, nothing huge uh, pretty basic stuff you can set up shortcuts for it uh, for you guys that do uh, like shortcuts I like it pretty much to stay in my menu bar it's pretty handy in the general style you got pretty uh, standard options uh, to quit iTunes when you quit significator uh, to start iTunes automatically when you start off uh, significator some basic stuff if you want the lyrics what kind of font you wanted it and what kind of size all that kind of stuff you can enable or disable notifications uh, it's built in works with the built-in uh, notifications for mountain line uh, so a pretty simple preferences but still uh, quite handy and uh, you know, there's not much more to it than this, but I honestly think it's a great app. So highly recommend for all you guys to check it out, especially now that it's free. Um, and of course, you can also rate your music straight from here. I forgot to mention that for you guys that do like rating your music. I don't really tend to do that too much. But anyway, that's it for this video. I thank you a lot for watching. Uh, once again, be sure to check out the application will be in the description. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, check out my two latest videos. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and circle me on Google+. That would be really, really appreciated. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.